Hey, my man, what's up? Hola, 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 focalistic. The man of the moment. <laughs> so, then tell me, uh, you grew up in Pitor, right? I grew up in Pitor. Yeah. Okay, so how was it like uh, growing up in, in Pretoria and how was your family like for your childhood? I was born in Pretoria. I lived in a flat, Kotao, no. Okay. And then I moved to Midrand. And then, you know, you know the, the black people story. Mm. We somehow go broke, then I had to move back to oh, Pretoria. Yeah. <laughs> so now I was living in a, in a Mkuk. Mm. So I think I've, all we had was love. So like our family was like, we were always happy like to be with mm. each other. But you always knew it was bittersweet, man. You always mm -hmm. knew that you broke, but like, mm -hmm. but you make do. I think that's what put us like so close. We like one of those close families where there's no secrets and everything. I call my sister every day. If I miss a day, she's calling like, "What's wrong? Why didn't you call?" Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, okay. So so I guess you never like felt uh, the circumstances that are around you because like there was love in the family. I mean, that's why I say it's bittersweet. You mm. feel it because people, when you exit, make you feel like. I remember I used to play soccer, mm. so nigga like blind the tattoo. So now I feel like, ah, that boy, I'm gonna cook him. You know what I mean? So oh, something yeah, like that like is like, like yeah. ah, you know. Mm. But you get over those things. Okay, okay. Yeah. So how did you get into music? Uh, for me, I always loved music. Like I used to have a. Can you Vitro Six to ring? I love flipper. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I used to record yeah. like songs, more radio. Mm. Like, just so I can listen to them again. So so you see the same way people are recording voice notes. Mm. So that's how I used to record songs. And I remember T.I. T.I. had a what's up, do it, do it. So I used to wait for it to play, then mm. I recorded it. Then I recorded it. That was my first, actual, that was actually my first hip hop album. Oh yeah? Yeah, T.I. T.I. vs. T.I.P. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, that one. Yeah. So for me, music has always been a thing that I like then. Obvious, my cousin he used to play more Java. Shout out Musa. Oh yeah. He used to play more Java in the morning, you know. Oh, Java yeah. in the morning, more Java with shoe, more Java. Okay. So, yeah. so would you say those are like some of your earlier musical influences? Yeah, definitely. Oh, more okay. Java, Ti, Lowen, Huma Sigela, because I used to hear Huma Sigela almost every day as well. Mm. So yeah, I have weird influences, but it's just because like of the family I was with. Mm, you know? mm, mm. Everyone was just on their own vibe. Okay, okay. So, so when, when did you start making music? I started making music like when my dad passed away in grade nine. Okay. Yeah, that was the first time I like wrote something on my own. Cause I used to like, I used to like freestyling. Oh, yeah? And like, maybe I'd have like four bars and all that. But like mm -hmm. when my dad passed away, I just closed the door and I locked myself in and just started writing. So you started penning everything, yeah. everything down. And before he passed away, he bought me like a hundred grand mic because I used to ask for a mic. Mm. So it has a, it has a thing of, okay, you can, you play soccer, you say you want new soccer boots, but now you want a mic, so choose. Mm. So for me, I was like, ah, you know, for me to show this time, I said, I'm serious, I have to take the mic. So I took mm. the mic, never played soccer ever since. Sure. Yeah. So, but are you happy with the decision that you made? Very, I those guys sweat, you chase a ball of money and yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's still the same. Nigga, mm. jalaga bolo ni ane no jalaga mo fu ko people oh, yeah, bullshit. Yeah. No, he was just saying. No, that's some. That's actually a dope. That's a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> no, that's a bar. Yeah. So you've been making music since then, since you got the mic. Yeah. So you've been recording since. Yeah. Okay. Well, not taking it seriously, but recording. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, you can record, keep it in your phone. Mm. You know. But yeah, you start. Never. I think I took it seriously my second year of varsity. That was what, 2017. Oh yeah? Yeah, 2017 or 2018. That's when I started taking music seriously. But otherwise I was just doing it for my friends. Mm. I still do it for my friends. I make music that my friends can vibe out to first. If mm. my friends don't like it, I don't think it's like a dope song. Oh okay, no so makes sense. Yeah, that's my Oh it's how you it's how you measure like as a dope song. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, it makes a lot of sense. So actually man, twenty seventeen is not that long ago. <clears throat> no, it's not. Mm. So then, so you started saying you're taking it seriously, and then, uh, which means becoming a performing artist, like yeah. Logan Bonamo Fly. Mm. Yeah, now I'm dropping something at yeah. least SoundCloud. Do. Oh, yeah. okay. That's that's what I mean when I say taking it seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when did you meet uh, Major League DJs? Uh, 19 November 2018, right? Yeah, 2018. Okay. Yeah, that's when I met them. 19, probably like a week before 19th of the drop, that's what I meant. Oh yeah? Because, 
So I used to freestyle, still do. Mm. And then I dropped like the freestyles and you know. Oh, online? Yeah, so online. Major League Bowling that does a freestyle. Like, I think one of the first freestyles in like South Africa to get like 100,000 views or whatever. Oh, yeah? Because like people weren't doing that. Mm. So I think Major Leagues, Java, everyone was just commenting like, yo, that's mm. so dope, whatever. And then Major League were the ones to follow through. Mm. Like they hit me up, like let's do studio, but they were doing some show called This Is Most Wanted, so they were quite busy. Oh, okay, who cool. But I was on the lineup there. Mm. I featured that way, I told you to I remember seeing, I think it was Bandilo, but there was some confusion. Mm. I didn't know who it was, but yeah. I saw one of them watching. And then the next week, ne- the next day actually comes like, let's do studio on Wednesday. Mm. And we went then 19 days later. That's how we met. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. It sounds like it's, just, it's fake, it was just supposed to happen. I mean, I, for me, music is about like energy. Mm. So the energy was right. Mm. We did it. Okay, okay. Um. So why why do you think like a lot of people gravitate towards your music, man? Because I think, Shapa, here you say you said you started taking the music thing seriously like 20, 2017, right? Yeah. But then you also get so many people that are just putting out music, you know, like, mm. putting out music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reality though. Yeah. For like my eight years or something, you know, and they're still complaining about, about what's up, what's up, what's up. yeah about a big break or whatever, you know. Uh, mm. You know, I guess. Um, what do you think was was different for you? You know, what what made uh, people sort of like you know gravitate toward what it is that you're doing? I think for me, my biggest selling point is me being me. Mm. So like the fact that you know, everything was genuine. So when you mm. meet me, you can tell like he's just doing his thing. Oh no, you're just there's saying. no fakeness. So, I want to disconnect yeah, the music and you. It's the same person. Mm. So I think that's what's missing in a lot of like upcoming artists, and that's mm. why I guess. People would gravitate towards me, mm-hmm. but that's why that's always the advice I give people: just be yourself. Like if you find out Garanga Zone Two or mm-hmm. some Banji, that's what you must say, man. It is what it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't like fake things, so mm-hmm. I think that's what. And South Africa in to like a South African. Mm-hmm. So whether you're South African who's rapping in English, mm-hmm. but you're referencing Santin, you're referencing oh, yeah, Rosebank, mm-hmm. as long as we can connect to you. To, to, yeah, so yeah. for me, I think that's that's my power. Okay, no, it makes it makes a lot of sense, man. Um, so, so obviously you have some hip hop influence in your music and then, not. and then this, can I say Kwaito? Kwaito, yeah. A bit of Kwaito. Kwaito, Bakadi. Bakadi also, yeah. the, the Victoria references that you make a lot in the music, what the way is and what you right. can tell or not. This guy actually, you know, <laughs> grab around yeah. for Tara. So do you have, do you have like a name for the type of sound that you make? Just, just I just see Trap Kibin and the whole guys. Okay. That's the, <laughs> that's the genre, that's the movement, that's mm. everything. I said, try to keep it as a Okay, no, makes sense, man. Um, so 2020 this year, um, so what are your plans um, for the for year? For this year? Mm. Yo, this year more music, more dope music, more hits. And, you know, I'm looking at like doing a couple of shows where people have never seen me. Okay, you know, okay. And can't get the opportunity because there's probably no promoters or whatever. You know, so that's dope also because like also that. people know your music. Yeah. Like, it's just... The music just spread out so fast. Yeah, it's just a matter of just going there and saying mm. what it is. You know, one taragamazo. So for mm. me, it's like, it's more just growth, mm. more growth. Every year of mine in music has just been like, mm. so for me, it's like, I know 2020 is the year of mm. more growth. Okay, but you, you know? also want to go to those people. Yeah, more growth. That's mm. what I'm saying, growing in that in that space of mm. like creating that relationship with people. Mm. Who don't have promoters to you know make mm. the big shows? Who can't come to a homecoming Africa, mm. or you can't go to like you know mm. the dome or whatever. You haven't seen me in your life, mm. so I think for me that's the that's the main aim. That's what gives me sleepless nights. Like how to connect it? Cause also my music is it. I don't know how, but mm. it's lived on the internet mm. and off. So people who aren't on the internet still love it, so, mm. and uh, it, that's like a once in a blue moon type of situation. This is what I'm saying, because like you can, especially in December, you can go anywhere, you can go anywhere in South Africa, man. Your know, people know, know the songs, yeah. And because if you look at even the scope, the, the last project that Boma Puresa put out, yeah. I think like after a week, like the songs were like everywhere, dog. You know? Yeah. Like before they even went to radio, like yo, everybody was just. just and that's mm. that's just what happened. That's what I'm saying. You can live on the internet and art. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's like a new wave of you know how to how to disseminate music, you mm. know, make sure everyone has it. And it's it's literally you 
mm. you are the power guy. Mm. So when I know, I know when I teach something, mm. it's gonna go, it's gonna move. That's mm. something. Those people support you that much, and it's just a matter of meeting them and performing for them, mm. And mm. growing that relationship. No, I think that's dope, man. Cause, cause like, cause like I said before, like your music is in so many different places, and it's so sad. People are only seeing you around Victoria, around Joburg. You get what I mean? Well, I mean, like, that's quite false, though. Yeah. But they only see me around play. Like, if I'm going to Mpumalang, I'm going mm. to Nels Break, and I'm going to News Cafe. Mm. If not News Cafe, I'm going to Zero One Three. Mm. You understand? But mm. there's people at Kwam Shusha who mm. tweet me, and I'm always there, like, how can I get there? You know what I'm saying? You understand? Because but because we have it, like, mm. we've hit nine provinces, like, last year. Mm. We did the nine provinces. But you're going to the more suburb areas. Mm. And for me, it's like, that defeats the purpose of mm. Pinata Vokas mm. because that's what is oh, related. Oh, I hear what you're saying, because yes. that's what the music is about. Exactly. Mm. So I just wish there would be more serious promoters who, like, back then I used to feel like they, they were mm. events like that. We used to go to, like, an event, Honamo Pagi, mm. and know that, oh, I don't wanna so I don't think that that's being done enough right mm, now. Mm. So for me, it's like I want to go to the grassroots. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I hear what you're saying, man. And so you have this thing, uh, Pitori Maradona, is that what you yeah. call it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is it about? I used to play soccer, so Nigel Maradona. Okay. So that's why I get a guitar. I'm a fool, you know. Okay. Nigel Dabo, I want Maradona to pass a Dabo. So that was me. No, the, no, the position, man. Number 10. Oh, flip. That's yeah. dope. So, I'm dropping two EPs. Hmm. The first one is called That's Trap with Pinata of Gassi 2. Yeah. It's gonna be Major League. Eight tracks. Hmm. And then, I'm dropping. So for now, let's say 18 Area 2. 18 Area 2, okay. Yeah, but it might change because hmm. I have so much music, so I might just drop. I might drop an EP after the trap. I don't know what's oh, called. I wanna call it yeah. Maradona Gesta. Yeah. You know. Mm-mm. Or I don't know, forget that. Okay. But there's just too much music and last year showed me that dropping music is like what got me here. Because mm. I dropped more than a lot of people. You know? no, I was, you did. I was yeah, everywhere dog. <laughs> yeah, I was literally just dropping. Mm. And then I realized like we're in an era where like it's the internet, everything is fast, instant gratification. So people mm. want to hear you. Right now, I have like three songs on the top ten mm-hmm. chart, but people keep asking for new music. New music it's yeah. like, okay, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean. So that's why I want to give people more. I might drop three tapes. Mm. Who knows? Okay. Possibly. No, no, you should, man. You should. Yeah. Uh, the people want the music, so I mean, why not? I mean, get never know it. Uh, check out Sent and it's called Shoot Them Girl Overload. These are the singles, music videos, and big music. But more is coming. Dropping a song is the deep. Oh yeah, no, that's fire. Yo. Yeah, it's called the star. That's fire. That's fire. I actually have too many new songs, but yeah. Check never know out shooting the video this week. So. Oh okay. Yeah. okay. Um oh yeah, I mean um so when we were chilling outside, you mentioned something about like elevating the game, yeah? And I yeah. thought it was interesting because sometimes when I meet up with some artists, they'll be saying things like ah, like what's next, you know? And then like I feel like with you, your music is quite popular, but then you're still saying you elevate in the game, you know. So in my mind, yeah. I'm like, how how do you elevate from where you are, you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's like a secret conversation. So for me, it's like I've never followed anyone. Mm. That's why even when I came with as a trap, a lot of people didn't understand. Mm. So that elevated the game and making people proud of being from the hood. No, that's true. And if you look at it. A lot of rappers started, you know, hopping mm. onto my piano yeah. and being proud about it. Like, no, you yeah. see, as a trap defined the sound of 2020. No, definitely. So, I'm like, I can put that on. I even cheated it. Mm. So, for me, it's like, how do I elevate from there mm. and keep, you know, the same momentum and mm. keep inspiring? Because at the end of the day, I do this thing for someone who used to live in the Mkuku mm. and it, like, if, if I was in them cuckoo, I'd want to see someone like me. Like, oh, yeah. you can make it out, you can. That's why I say, never get dumb, no go sumo, sipping dumb. Mm. You know, like things like that. Never get dumb, no go north, no go north. It's like, so how do I take that and make it something, you know, something more tangible? And I no, think that's the one man show. That's the show that I'm trying to curate. Mm. Gonna, you know, I want to do like 5,000 people, mm. call it as a trap, give it a Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, yeah. And, you know, just make sure they get the full production experience. Mm. Nah, no, because I feel like even if you were to announce it now, 
you'll be good <laughs> yeah it's, it's not about the yeah. problem the problem is not announcing it's just finding a proper mm. you know a proper slot but we're working on it you know mm. major league are helping mm. homecoming we're working on it Okay. But when when everything is said, I want I, I like saying things when everything is. You know, it makes sense. Then come with the day. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hey, I thank really you, appreciate it. As yeah. well. All the best for the year. Trusty. Yeah, man. Shout out. As well.